All right, let's make some uh, cinnamon bread. Uh, the recipe will be in the description. Um, let's get started. All right, we're going to start off with our milk. Uh, we've got it heated to about 100 degrees. It can go up to 110, that would be all right. And then we're going to pour in our yeast. And we're going to pour in about, uh, we're going to pour in a teaspoon of uh, our sugar. And then we're going to mix that up really good. And we'll set that aside for, um, to let it rise, to let it foam up and activate the yeast. Okay. And now we've got some melted butter here. I put it in the microwave, melt, melted it down, took about 40 seconds or so. We'll add that to the bowl. And then uh, we're going to add uh, the rest of our sugar. Uh, like I say, all of the ingredients and the amounts are going to be in the description. So we're going to stir that up really good. And we've got one egg, large egg, beaten. We're going to add that in. And we're going to mix that up really well. And because I know my yeast is uh, is good, um, I'm not going to wait for it to rise. You, this is not necessary, but if you if you're not if you don't know how good your yeast is, you should let it rise. So we're going to add that in and mix that up really well. There's still some yeast in there. I'm going to scrape that down. Mix it up. Okay. Now we're going to add about half of our sugar, which is one cup. Or not our sugar, our flour. And I see the problem with doing a uh, video with this I'm learning is um, once you get everything mixed you can't really go back when you make a mistake <laughs> when you're telling people how to do it so just keep going so we're gonna get this mixed up until it's you know slightly combined doesn't have to be perfect just yet and now we are going going to add our salt Get that mixed in. And now add the rest of the flour. And you just want to stir this until it comes together and all of the flour is incorporated into the dough. So. And it's at this point that if you wanted to add raisins to it, uh, you would go ahead and do that. Scrape the sides down as best you can. 
and you'll end up with a fairly sticky dough. Actually, not fairly sticky, a very sticky dough. Okay, now we're going to need, I'm going to change the camera angle and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, now we're going to dust our surface with a little bit of flour. And we're going to scrape our dough out onto the table. Dust the dough. You want to dust it pretty well because it's really sticky. Now when you start to knead, you don't want to push down. You want to push out. So if you push down, it's really going to stick. So you push out. Lift and turn and pull it back. Out. Lift and turn it back. Out. Lift and turn it back. Now as you do this, you want to try and keep it from sticking too bad. So you scrape a little around the sides, then out, lift, and pull back. Out, lift, and pull back. And it's messy, and every once in a while you want to scrape your hands down. You may want to just try to do this with one hand. Um, because it, it's, it's, it's sticky, it's messy. And if you have to, add a little more flour. Uh, pull back. As you do this, it will start to come together and it will, def it will stop being so sticky. So out, lift, pull back. Lift, pull back. And just keep going until a dough forms. I'm going to stop recording right now because it's really boring to watch this part. And uh, I'll be back when I'm closer to finishing the kneading. Okay, I'm back. I've got this kneaded out now. It's not so sticky. It's been about, it took about 10 minutes. So, as you see, it's not sticking in my hands. It's not sticking to the table. It's a fairly smooth. If you pull on it, it doesn't rip. So now we're just gonna kind of shape it into a ball. And then we're gonna put it into a, a clean pan that's been sprayed with uh, cooking spray. And we'll roll it around, make sure it gets all covered all the way around. And then we will cover it and let it rise for about an hour to an hour and a half or until it's about doubled in size. And at that point, I'll come back and we'll move on to the next step. All right, uh, dough is about doubled in size now. So I'm gonna Dust our surface. And turn our dough out. And dust the dough. And we're going to push the air out of the dough. A little bit more dusting, flour a rolling pin, and we want to roll it out till it's about the same width as our loaf pan. And about Eh, around a half inch thick, maybe a little thinner. Uh, the thickness isn't all that important as long as it's 
uh, pretty even. And now we will take our cinnamon sugar mixture, which is a tablespoon each of uh, white sugar, brown sugar, it doesn't matter, light or dark, whatever you have, and cinnamon, one tablespoon each of those. And then we'll sprinkle this on our dough. Coat the whole thing. And now we roll the dough up into a loaf. Now we want to pinch the seam. pinch the ends and turn it so the seam is on the bottom shape it into a loaf shape again and then I've got uh, greased I used um, butter loaf pan Drop that in there. You don't have to push it out to the sides. It'll expand as it rises. And we'll cover that. And let it rise until it comes up about an inch above the top of the pan. And while that's rising, we'll preheat the oven to 375 degrees. Uh, once this is risen, I'll be back. Alright, so the dough is risen. I've got um, one egg white here. I uh, mixed it up with a teaspoon of water and I'm just going to wash the top of the bread with it. Once it's completely covered, it goes into the oven for uh, 30, 35 minutes, and um, I'll be back when that's done. And it's done. Now just take it immediately out of the pan. Onto the cooling rack. Nice hollow sound means it's cooked all the way through. And cover it until it is completely cooled. Okay. Bread's done, cooled. Let's cut into it, see what it looks like. <clears throat> hmm. It rose funny. Only got the cinnamon in one little corner. I can't explain it. I'm not gonna try. Bread's done. Bye. Okay, I started slicing the bread more. It was just the ends that looked like that. The middle of the bread, much better. Okay, now's the end. Bye.